Let's start. All right. And we back with my boy, Lethal, better known as Lee Million. <laughs> What's up, boy? What's happening with it, man? Man, I'm with my ace boom coon right you here, man. Know that. I've been knowing him since, uh, man, uh, hmm. grade school, man. Hmm. Like, damn. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't even yeah, know how yeah. long, man. Just, yeah, we wasn't driving. We was on bicycles. Yeah. I remember when you had hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that part. Yeah. You know, man. Yeah. man, so, you know, uh, you are a living legend, man, uh, producer love. right now. Much love. You know what I mean? Uh, you didn't did so much, man. You didn't. You you didn't did. Uh, uh, you didn't did. Uh, Thelma. You did oh, yeah. Pop. Yeah. You've done Jo. Yeah. Jail felony for those that don't know. Yes. Uh, uh, man, who else you've done, man? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, gospel artist. What's gospel artist you've done? Uh, well, there's a guy, his name is uh, Pastor Calvin Rome. Yeah, I produced him. His record is coming out this year. Okay. It's a song he wrote called uh, uh, Help Me Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I just had a gospel uh, record out with uh, Patricia Smith. And she's related. She's the auntie of, rest in peace, Nate Dog, auntie of uh, Butch Cassidy. And uh, yeah, she's a legend. That, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's this right here. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yep. so uh, right. she's a wonderful artist. If you know, you need someone to come and sing at your church or something like that, mm. she's a perfect person. You need a concert guest. Man, she's awesome, man. That's she's right. been singing for a long time. That's Patricia right. Smith, look her up. That's right. It's called Sing Praises. Patricia Smith. Yeah. yeah. Sing Praises. Now, yeah. so uh, when did you actually start producing? Uh, I started producing uh, probably in like... Uh, 87 you know just trying to you know figure it out but my first professional record really really professional record uh that hit the charts uh I'll, that's why i'll say it's professional because it mm -hmm. made the billboard charts it was with a good friend of mine that i used to do music with her name was keila and she had a song i'll call love wasted shout out to keila uh yeah Stewart. yeah keila stewart yeah you know i mean my yeah. sister yeah so <laughs> You know, I had an opportunity to produce on that uh, record. I did a little remix or whatever. So that's the first time I saw my music actually be on the charts. She she charted with that song with, mm -hmm. you know, Independent way back then. That was long, long before, you know. With Funk House Records. Yeah, Funk House that's Records, right, right, right out of Long Beach. That's right. So uh, after that, you know, uh, just started, you know, learning, learning the craft of music, producing and all that stuff. And then the big record came when, uh, I got the opportunity to produce uh, the one and only Tupac Shakur. Mm -hmm. So that's that was my first major credit mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, still, you know, being blessed financially and just, you know, spiritually from that record. That that that's record right. lives on forever. That's right. Yeah. So um, how many songs did you actually do for Tupac? Um, let's see. Uh, the first one was uh, Young Niggas that I recorded. And then the second song I recorded, which was the next day, was called Sucker for Love. A lot of people don't know that yet. I've actually uh, inspired that to Tupac. You know, we was uh, in the studio, just finished doing Young Niggas. And he was like, what else you got? What else you got? And I start humming. Dun, 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 dun. And he was like, oh, no, nah, you got that? I said, nope. I said, but well, we could do it right here <laughs> from scratch, right here. Mm -hmm. So he asked me to come to the studio the next day. And uh, we did that from scratch, uh, you know, for Pac. And, uh, you know, we couldn't put that on me against the world. So uh, by the time it actually came out, you know, Pac wasn't on Interscope anymore. He was on death row. So... Uh, yeah, it came out. Somebody else got a chance to remake what I actually recorded. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, shout out to them, whoever it was. You you got lucky on that one. But, uh, yeah, I actually recorded that with Tupac and mm -hmm. inspired him. That was uh, the second song I ever did with him. Uh, then I did Dear Mama, the remix, the vinyl. Mm -hmm. So if anybody got the vinyl, actual vinyl of Dear Mama, I, I produced that also for okay. Tupac. Uh and then another song I did for him was uh, called uh, Blinded. 
and that's bootleg. They don't bootleg. That's on the internet with drama sidle. Mm -hmm. uh, the story with that is uh, Tupac. You know, he had went to jail, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, for that little situation, that was right before Suge bailed him out, and uh, he called from jail. We was producing uh, the Outlaw record. They was called Drama Sidle at right, that time. Right, right, right. So uh, I I got a chance to do a song on them and. Uh, Shout out to Drummer Sidle, the Outlaws, my guys. Um, so uh, the song was called Blinded, and that was going to be their first single. But uh, Tupac wrote the hook for it, and he picked the beat for him, you know, before he went to jail. So that was another song that uh, didn't actually never really come out. I never mixed it. So the version that's online, you know, it's not mixed or nothing like that. It's just people get songs sometimes, right. and uh they just put it out there, you know, mm -hmm. how the internet go. But uh, yeah, so those would be the four songs that I pretty much uh, produced on them that he actually gave his blessing on. It was right, like, yeah, right. let's do this, let's do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, <clears throat> jail felony. Yeah. Um, what did you do for jail? Oh man, jail. We did a song called uh, "Sugar Booger." And, oh, I know, like that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, it's it's a song that's not actually a. Uh, it's not actually really, it really didn't come out, mm -hmm. but we just did it and uh, they started playing it on K-Day. Mm -hmm. So after they started playing it on K-Day, it was like, shoot, let's keep it going. Let's yeah. move on and yeah. do something with it. But yeah, I got some more songs out on J.O. that's, woo! Wow. wow. Yeah, that's shout crazy. out to J.O. Yeah. Felony, Bullet Loco. Yeah, matter of fact, he got a song out right now called uh, Gigantor. Oh my goodness, this is with uh, the legendary, uh, uh, Uncle uh, George Clinton himself. Oh, wow. Yeah, so Man. shout out to Uncle George Clinton. Yeah, and congratulations yeah. on that star. Congratulations you know I mean? on yeah. that star, right. for That's real. Right. Well deserved. Man. Well deserved. Long overdue. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, look out for that too. You know, I got a song with, that I uh, wrote called, uh, uh, I'm not going to tell you the name of the song, but <laughs> yeah, Uncle George. That's right. He know what the name of the song is. Uh, oh, you got something with George? Yeah, yeah. We haven't recorded, but I wrote the song already. Okay. And uh, I actually uh, met him at Rest in Peace Marvin Gay House. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. yeah. My, my boy uh, took me over there. Uh, uh, my man, one of my high school partners, uh, shout out to you. Uh, so uh, we went to, uh, he took me over there to meet. Uh, Uncle George, mm -hmm. and we was in the back house with Marvin Gaye piano and all that stuff was in there. It was just being in that room was crazy. Uh, but I started playing the piano, and George was like, Oh man, you blessed with the funk, man. Yeah, yeah, you blessed with liked, the funk. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we vibe, and then I played him a song that I wrote, and he was like, Man, he's like, If Parliament does another record, that record I want to record. I was like, wow, for real? He was like, for real. Man, so I this have is my toes honest crossed, to God true. Crossed, feet crossed. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Man. sir. Yes, sir. So uh, shout out to Uncle George again, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, keep doing your thing, man. You inspired us. That funk. Yes. Yes, I'm indeed. still. I've still got the funk. As a matter of mm -hmm. fact, as a matter of yeah. fact, the high school we had, what, yeah. what, what school did you attend? You know, I went to Long Beach Poly, the funk mm -hmm. house. And as a matter of fact, yeah. uh, being that we went to the funk house, yeah. you know, that was all that was all in us. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Please believe Man, the funk. Before we even went to funk house, yeah. we was the funk house. Yeah, you do know this. <laughs> you yeah. know, so yeah. George Clinton had a hell of an impact on Long Beach Pilot. Real talk. You Real know what talk. I'm saying? Yeah. So let's get back to some of the other artists you worked with, man. Um Daz Dillinger, right? Right, right, yeah. Daz that's, that's, that's my, what the DPG from Yeah, right? this is my guy, yeah. His brand, he done did this, you know. I've been knowing Daz for years, you know. Uh, so long that his mom, rest in peace, I love her. Uh, she used to babysit me when I was little. So, wow. you know, we kind of like, we was just connected since then. Mm -hmm. But musically, you know, uh, I was always playing the drums. He used to watch me play the drums, but then he came out doing this thing and I always admired him. I think he's one of the tightest producers. Yes. Underrated. You know I mean? Yeah, yeah, you know. Yep. Gangsta Party, you know, and so many other songs. And, and he got so many songs with so many people like Nas yeah, to yeah. East Coast and just I mean, man, right now he he doing his thing. Uh I know he got some some new music coming out, but yeah, I did a song, a few songs with him um just lately, mm -hmm. uh, on his birthday. Yeah. I did yeah. a song called uh Happy Sea Day. 
So that just came out mm-hmm. 2023. Go download that. You know what I'm saying? If that's what you own, you know what I'm saying? That's a good song to have a good time on. That's right. Um, but I also did a song called uh, In My Blood, Cuz. And that's featuring uh, Cocaine on the hook. Oh. It's got Daz on the song. Uh, it's got Goldie Loke on the song. And uh, it's got Compton uh, AV, AV on the song. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's dope. It's dope. Mm-hmm. Shout out to anybody if I forgot you. But, yeah, I, I got a few other songs with Daz, but that's my dude. That's, that's right. And you 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 do a lot of mix downs for him, don't you? You mix that stuff down for him, or or, or uh... yeah. Sometimes he'll send me some music and be like, "Yo, bless this, bless this." And uh, man, it's always an honor. That's right. To you know do anything that uh, that he you know is, he's on. Mm-hmm. I think he's just man. He's got so much more to give to the game. Yeah, I know. People don't even know he got some movies coming out, some other stuff coming out. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, stay tuned to Dash. Shout out to Dash. Yeah, he also yeah. signing people to his label now, right? Yeah, yep, that's yeah. true too. Yeah, which is really good, you know. A lot of times, uh, you know, if an artist take on another artist, you kind of got the blueprint. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You got to go with that. Well, I mean, he been on his independent ish for a cool minute. Yeah, you know, I remember him. Uh, he was working with Little C Style. Right. And they was doing that the independent thing back then before right. Little Style went to jail. Get out, man! Free Little Style, right? But, Free uh, Little Style, man. for real. <laughs> but uh, you also uh, had the opportunity and still working with the legendary and Grammy Award winning Thelma Houston, right? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. She is uh, a legend. I'm so happy to be working with her. Uh, we we um we have a basically a song about a project about love that's what our project is about Mm because the world needs healing right now we need some love you know a lot of things is going on in the countries and just in our city in general you know you know on the east side of long beach you know it's always something going on Mm -hmm. so you know we we're trying to put some love back in the city you know that's right so uh uh, produced a song on her called um, I Still Love You. That's available on iTunes and all your streaming. Go go download that, you know. But uh, we have another song coming out about love. So uh, go follow her, Thelma Houston, uh, official ThelmaHouston.com, mm-hmm. um, on Instagram as well. And, uh, yeah, she's incredible. She has a lot of energy. She is, if for those who don't know, her song was Don't Leave Me This Way. She got a Grammy from that. Right. And she's the first, a little history, this Black History Month, she's the first Black woman to get a Grammy on Motown. Mm. Yeah. She started Grammys on Motown for women. So, yeah, shout out to her. I uh, love her. So, uh, yeah, we got some more good music coming out. You know, I had the opportunity uh, to hold the original Grammy that she got. Yeah, the first one, yeah. You know, the one that, that broke. It was, uh, broke, oh, it was broke. wow, yeah, that's you know right. I mean? that's it was right. broke. You know, right. That's why they gave her another one. Yeah. They wore another one that just passed last year. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Because they knew Museum. it was broke, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's but right. I had the opportunity to hold that, man. I'm like, oh, wow. my God, a Grammy. Mm-hmm. You know, it felt like I was somebody just to hold that man, mug, it's man. Special. You know it's special. It's special. Because, I mean, don't everybody get those? No, nah, man. Shout out to the Grammys. You know, we just had that. Yeah. Shout out to... All the people that did get the Grammy, you know what I'm saying, from the Killer Mics, you know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, Everybody, yeah. even to, you know, can't leave out Taylor Swift. She is a masterpiece. Yeah, yeah, she is. You know, I'm going to give is. that shout out to her because she got a brain. She really, really doing her thing. <laughs> and she's using all yeah. of her branding, too. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Dr. Dre for having, you know, being able to give out his awards and uh, do his thing now and all mm-hmm. the other people. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, the, you know, I love y'all, man. Keep doing what you're doing. People, right, right. And the first Dr. Dre Award was awarded to Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Imagine yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. But uh, another artist that you're working with that I can't wait to album come out, man. You already know who I'm going to mention. Oh. Butch Cassidy, man. Butch. Come yes. Come on, man. Yes. I'm, man, I'm, you've been working Beach. on this Butch Cassidy project for Ooh. how many years, man? Man, too many, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I learned from my, uh, I call him my mentor, you know what I'm saying? Because he the king of the game, you know what I'm saying? Dr. Dre, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. got to sometimes, you know, take your time, 
mix it right, get it right, make sure all your stuff is right before you put it out. Make sure everything is lined up right yeah, before yeah. you put it out. So you won't regret after you put it out. It's out. You can let it go, do what it do. But yeah, we got some we got some real, real nice stuff coming with Butch Cassidy. Uh -huh. We stay in the studio recording. I mean, I know you got a couple of albums with him now. Oh, man. yeah. I know you do. Oh, man. yeah. Absolutely. I heard I heard some stuff you was playing for me, I think, two years ago or something when we was in, out there in, uh, I think, Van Nuys at that studio out there. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? The same one you said, yo, the game be at this studio right here. Yeah, yeah. Like, he was right <laughs> next door to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah game yeah shout out to him that's a cool brother too yeah mm -hmm. we was right next door to each other he was yeah man i got love for everybody man it's like they say we can't get along man but we do get along right you right know yeah. What I'm talking about? yeah you know black people is just uh we it's a uh, wherever we go we know how to uh, make music together it don't matter where you're from you know what i'm saying you could be from that you know, or this or whatever it's about the music and that's the love of the game. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that's making good music together. That's right. Yeah. Man, uh, how do you feel about music streaming? Streaming, uh, that is a, it's a, I really don't like a lot of things about it. When it first came out, I said, this is uh, something ain't right about this. Yeah, yeah. I was like, we giving the music away. I don't, I don't really like it. So, you know, now everybody's seeing what I saw, mm -hmm. which is how can somebody, you know, be able to listen to your music for what the equivalent of a half a penny or even a penny, even a, mm -hmm. that would even be, you a know, terrible. of a penny. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. basically when you put a video up on YouTube, I almost feel like you shouldn't put up a song on YouTube unless it's a video. So you could just at least get a, uh, income from the video, but just having your song on YouTube, you're not very, you're not getting the value of the song. You know what I'm saying? YouTube mm -hmm. might be making the money. Right, right, right. You know, or wherever you're streaming, your music is streaming, they may be getting the money, but the artists, not so much. The producer, not so much. That's why we have to flip the game now and, and sell merchandising. Right. You got to sell right. merchandising. Yeah, you can't right. just have, can't just have music. You have to have something to sell with the music. True. True. That's the True. that's the only way you're gonna make your streaming really work. You gotta monetize your streaming by attaching it to a product. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, um, who sh which shirt? Whose shirt is that? Which, which oh, this is my. You know what I'm saying? The, the king. You know, the city, Long Beach. You know, this little like, dog. Yeah, that looks. Yeah, that looks like this, some um, Joe Cool work. Yeah, right oh there. yeah, this Joe Cool Jim work. Joe Cool's letters. Oh yeah, yeah, this Joe Cool. Shout out to yeah. the homie Joe Cool, yeah. Long Beach finest artist. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, this is a. But this was a summertime in the LBC uh, tour or whatever, uh, you know, with the homies in the back, you know, you know, shout out to everybody that was on that tour. Y'all oh, yeah. did y'all oh, thing. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, the yeah, twins, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? That. I remember that. Warren G. Right. Everybody, right. you know what I'm saying? So uh -huh. I support the city. You know, we stay supporting each other in the city. That's right. City by the sea. So you're from Long Beach. You grew up from in Long, Long Beach. From Long Beach. Grew up in Long Beach, you know. That's definitely. right. On the east side or west side? Which uh, side? I grew up on the east side. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I went to uh, church in, uh, at Antioch Church in Long Beach. That's what you did? Yeah, under, under Joe <laughs> Chaney. Joe Chaney. Pastor yeah. Joe Chaney. Yeah, he baptized yeah, me, yeah. man. Same here, yeah, man. Come on, man, yeah. And you know what I'm saying? So I... I Although I do, you know, hip hop music, I, I came from the church. That's right. And, yeah, uh, you know, shout out to Antioch Church in Long Beach, Pastor Wayne Chaney, you know, right. Junior. Good brother. Wayne Chaney Jr. Wayne Chaney Jr., Jr. yeah, right. real good brother. I love him. Yeah, I do. Yeah, and, uh, boy. So, uh, we, grew, we grew up with him, man. He was yeah. he was in church with us. You know oh, what I'm saying? absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, man, Long Beach, yeah, from Long Beach Poly yeah, yeah. to uh, Long Beach State, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And, uh, so I'm a 49er, you know, used to play at the basketball games on the drums that's right, in the that's stadium right. and yeah, stuff. And yeah. then at the football games and stuff. Yeah. At and the, the basketball games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. all that stuff at Long Beach State, yeah. man. Marching band, played the bass drum at Poly in the marching band and Long Beach State in the marching band. So, wow, okay. you know, the music has uh, been all Long Beach, everything Long that's Beach, right. man. So being that you were all Long Beach, have you ever worked with Snoop? Yes, absolutely, man. I've been uh, blessed to work with him on several different uh, um, occasions, man. Uh, shout out to Snoop Dogg. That's Number right. love Big for him. double G. Yes, sir. Uh, a lot of stories about Snoop. Uh, I'm just going to tell a couple of them. Um, 
when he was doing the two one three album, Snoop mm-hmm. Nate Moore and G, mm-hmm. um, I was there and uh, it was doing a song with Lil John, and uh, it was dope. Okay. You know, they did a lot of stuff, but one little part of that song went church preach tabernacle. Right, church, I remember that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what we used to say all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, in there at the at the studio, so. He heard me saying that, so he's like, yeah, go put that in there. So, you know, I, I it ended up making the, the little record, a little portion of the record on mm-hmm. Lil John's song. Shout out to Lil John. So I did that, and then um, and then I did another song on the record called The Boom Boom Room that's still unreleased. So, you know, it may be coming out. You know, mm-hmm. Snoop got some hits in his archives. I know you do. So I got a song with Snoop, do. Nate, and Warren called the Boom Boom Room, um, still unreleased. Uh, so yeah, I worked with Snoop on that and uh, some other stuff. Yeah, if you if you remember the when he used to have the uh, the mix CDs yeah, out, yeah, you yeah. know, Welcome the to the tapes, Church. The mix tapes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on a song with Meniski with him. Uh, I think it was volume five, you know. So if those who have those CDs go listen to the song Maniski. Mm-hmm. I'm on there singing the background, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So some little records I sing on, you know, like I mm-hmm. sing on the background on Tupac record as well. Mm-hmm. So I'm a producer, producer, but I don't I don't care to be uh featured on the record, so to speak. I'll mm-hmm. just make the record fat. You know, as long as you know, make the record do what it do, I'm with that. But uh So yeah. so are you like uh what kind of producer are you? Are you a producer that have a beat and put it with an artist, or do you get an artist and make a beat tailor made for the artist? I do either or, either or, whichever is best. You know, sometimes I have some beats and the artists will listen to them and they be like, "Yeah, I need that," so we'll start from there, or we'll just keep it just like that and we'll record to that. Or sometimes somebody send me an acapella. And, then, and tell me what the tempo is, and I'll do it from scratch, mm-hmm. just based on what what I'm hearing, the melody that they already got going on, mm-hmm. and the tone that they're in, the key that they're in, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. you know, and fit it like that, and that works out as well, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, I do that. I got a song with Thelma like that. I got a song with a few other people like that. So it's fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, aren't you tell me about this project, Snoop? Okay, yeah, Smoot, man. That's shout out to Smoot. Yeah, it's one of my uh, partners that uh, I started in the game, inspired him. I would think I inspired him because uh, first time he ever was in the studio, he was at my studio in San Diego, mm-hmm. and uh, that's where we, you know, guy he started rapping at. So uh, that was a project he put out on his label. It was a song, or it was a time where. Uh, this is crazy. The NBA was on strike. I don't know if y'all remember that. The NBA was on strike. Mm-hmm. Well, he had put a project together and he had KRS One. Shout out to him. What? Yes. He had all these hit people back 10 and he rented out the Coliseum. Smoop, you're a cold cat. Yes. Yeah, his uh uncle, his his cousins, Nick Van Exel. Shout out to Nick Van Exel. What? So they rented out the Coliseum and had everybody at the Coliseum, bro. Yeah. And so off of wow. that, they ended up doing a record. And so uh, it was called uh, Hip Hop, The Story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, Hip Hop, The Story. <laughs> so I did, I don't know, two or three songs off of they, you know, their whole little soundtrack that Man. they put together. Yep. I'm only telling you the facts, the real stuff that okay. happened. Okay. You know, before I was, you know, the way I grew up, it was like, don't be out telling your business. Don't be a... They was like, you bragging. But now it's like social media is like, man, if you don't tell nobody who you are, they ain't going to never know what you did. Exactly. So exactly. I'm, I figure you'd be my first person. I kind of like share some of the truth. That's right. Appreciate all the that. stuff that I'm saying can be, there's receipts for all of this That's stuff. Right. So, Appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, shout out to all the people that I work with and that mm-hmm. I'm working with, and that I started working with, That's like right. that guy, you know. Hope you're still doing your yeah. thizzle. And then you said you worked worked on this album and a lot of other albums too, huh? Oh yeah, shout out to Daz. Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, man, that's the song I got with him. Uh, yeah, with uh, E40. I mean, with uh, no, with um, um, uh, Cocaine. 
mm-hmm. and uh, and uh, the other people that I was telling you about. Right, right, right. So, um, let me see. I forgot what I was going to ask you, man, because we didn't discuss. Oh, oh, uh, um, now your 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 youth program that you do. Yes, right? you you teach children how to how to play. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. I've been teaching music uh, for over 28 years. You know, I started teaching, uh, you know, when I was in college and like right out of college. And uh, shout out to Debbie Allen, Norm Nixon. Uh, I used to teach their kids. I used to drive to their house, uh, set up the drum set in in Debbie Allen's dance studio. Damn, damn. Put a little carpet (laughs) down, teach the son drums. Yeah. And then teach the daughter, daughter piano. His name is Thump. He's a comedian right now. Shout out to Thump doing his thing yeah. as a comedian. And then his sister is um, she's just she's a young mother now. She's doing her. I'm not sure what she's doing. I know she's in the business, but I'm not sure exactly what she's doing. But her mm. name is Vivian. And so I used to teach them. And you know we used to do recitals at Debbie Allen House and stuff like That's that. That's crazy. Debbie Man, Allen, make- Norm Nixon. <laughs> Real good, brother. Debbie Allen, real man. man I do anything for them. They just they, classic they, people. Let me tell you something. I mean, they seem like regular folk to me. Yeah, I mean, just, they, they just seem absolutely. like regular people that just happen to have money. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, seriously. When yeah. I when I see because I never yeah. met them in person, right, but right. when I see them on TV, I'm like, damn, they they just look like regular folk. Yeah, they are genuine people. Like you know. It's like, yes, they have money and they know how to manage their money. They know how to do business professionally, but they don't, when they walk in the room, they don't, they don't act like I'm the best person in the room or I'm, you mm-hmm. know, they, they, like you said, they're normal people. And it's like, it's a lot of people in the business like that, you know, like, um, my partner, uh, um, phase on love, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. you know, that's one of my business partners like that. You know, he's, he's a superstar, but he's a regular person. So you, you're going to get the regular person all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're going to always get the regular person. People be expecting, you know, you know, him Comedian to be in character or yeah, whatnot yeah. and acting, you know, funny style. But yeah, he's just a real good brother. You know what I'm saying? Solid brother, you know, and shout out to all the controversy that's going on, you know, with, yeah. with that. Okay. Yeah. Um, being that you taught uh, all these people, children's, uh, uh, um, instruments and all that stuff yeah. you have children of your own right absolutely and um didn't you, you did you give any of these skills to your children absolutely uh my first my first uh i have two boys uh, my first son i taught him how to play the drums and then what's you know, his name first boy yeah his name is brent tyler okay um you can look him up on instagram that's brent wood at instagram that's two t's b-r-e-n-t-t-w-o-o-d at Instagram. So uh I've taught him and uh now he's uh he's gone on. He went to uh you know college and you know did something there and uh as well but now he's been touring since college. His first tour he went on the tour with Black Eyed Peas, uh with Will I Am playing the drums. So he toured with them for about two about three years and uh then he played with a bunch of other people uh while he was playing with them. Uh, shout out to Will Smith and Black Eyed Peas, but he's currently playing for um, this lady named BB Rexa, and he's playing the bass. So now he's touring, playing the bass mm-hmm. all around the world. Um, so music can take you around the world if you mm-hmm. learn how to play. You mm-hmm. learn how to read. You learn how to do the rules. You can travel the world with music and make a living. So he's doing well, and uh, he has a record coming out. As a matter of fact. Uh, the fifteenth of November, mm. I believe it is, and it's uh called. Uh, they should have to be able to show you that right now, yeah. but it's called. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot it right now, but it's it's a really good song, real positive song. So That's all right. They see what it is right there. You know, I love <laughs> you, son. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, he's a really, really, really solid artist, solid musician, and uh, solid uh. Uh, person, uh, he has a clothing line called DZN. Right, right. Um, so you know, go follow that. You know, that's on Instagram also. Go follow that. Uh, so hey, music can take you across the world. Right now, I've been teaching 
a lot of other little kids. Um, I have a nonprofit called Tyler Creative Music Center. And really named after your son. Yeah. And so and really what we just do is we just teach kids and we, you know, we take them places and do stuff with them. And, uh, you know, eventually we're going to open up for other people to donate. But it's just been a passion of my wife and I. So we've just been uh, footing the bill for it. And, you know, we built a little center for them to come and learn music and feel mm -hmm. comfortable. Mm -hmm. So we're going to, you know, be uh, collaborating with uh, VIP and bringing that formula over to VIP Records to start teaching some of the kids that's right. right here in VIP Records. Long Beach, get back to your city that's right, that's always. Right. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to be actually teaching how to do this, yeah. what we're doing right now. So we're going we're gonna to have a, ho a person sitting here hosting. Mm -hmm. We're going to have another person sitting there doing an the interview, getting an interview. Mm -hmm. oh, that's the homie. All right. Yeah. And then we're gonna have uh, you know, producers and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you know, floor manager. You know, mm -hmm. so we're gonna be actually teaching right. how to run all this stuff. So, you know, later on, you know, we might have a, a, a John Singleton right. or something in our midst. Exactly. You know what I'm exactly. You never know. You you might be you might have the next uh, Lenny Kravitz. Yeah, for real. You know what I mean? Exactly. You never that's know. What Prince we all or something. Do. Give yeah. people a chance, and that's what VIP really. I could say that from the inception of VIP that's always at the end of the day been an opportunity to give people a chance to see the world from right here and, and actually travel the world all the way from you know from Snoop Dogg buying a record here to uh, having a record here to you know making the video here mm -hmm. making it world famous right, VIP right. and you know at that point so it stems from VIP have an opportunity mm -hmm. so you know I, I'm I know that this is gonna be wild you know mm -hmm. um, 20 years from now people still watching this this video and seeing what's going on right, right. Where it and came see the from. accomplishments we we didn't did absolutely yeah yep. absolutely yeah because Calvin you know pops you know we call him pops right you know uh, mm -hmm. he opened he opened the doors and gave me opportunity to do this right right you know? right Incredible. I didn't I, I'm not paying Mm -hmm. wow. he, he fit in the bill. Wow, you know, he's the executive. Yeah, there it is. You know what I'm saying? But you know, yeah. you know how pops is, though. Right, right. He may, he want to make sure we ain't getting in no trouble. Right, you know exactly. That's doing something it. positive. Exactly. You know, he been doing that for us since we was in in yeah. elementary. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's so a, many good stories, man. You know what I mean, man? Is there anything you want to shout out to the West Coast music community out there? Oh man, I'm gonna I want to tell you about a project that uh. I have coming out uh, on the 15th. For sure, this is coming out on the 15th. And it's called Excuse My Seat. <laughs> Excuse My Seat. Yeah. Uh, you should be seeing this sometime on, on yeah. So this is with uh, my good buddy Faison Love. You know what I'm saying? It's a comedy CD that, uh, you know, I thank him for, you know, allowing me to uh, put it together, you know. He always doing this thing. He always, he stay grinding, you know what I'm saying? He just not a, he don't put all of his stuff out, you know, like that. But that's a real good, solid brother, you know what I'm saying? Just like Norm Nixon is a good, solid brother. You know, I know a lot of people that, you know, that's real good, solid brothers. And uh, he's, uh, so Faison has a comedy CD coming out that him and I, we uh, co-produced it together. So it's funny. You need to be able to, drive from here to Vegas and just listen to some laughter. It's good for your heart. Yeah, it's really yeah, good yeah, for your heart yeah. and, and it's funny. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's funny. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that's that's something I'm really excited about because, you know, I put out music and sold millions of records so forth, but now I want to sell some records in a different way. So let's do this comedy, you know what I'm that's saying? Right. So go download on February 15th, 2024. Excuse my seat. Phase I love. Yes, indeed. That's right. Yeah. Man, well, I want to uh, thank you for attending the show. Thank you. Know you. I, mean? I want to give you your flowers now. Thank you. Know you know I mean? You're my boy. Yeah. Uh, you've been doing this for a long time. Uh, you you one of the few, and I'm, I'm going to say this, on, on, are you one of the few that call me and check on me. Please you know what I mean? Believe it. All the time. Not just some of the time. All the time. Please believe it. And then not only that, man, but when you go to exclusive events, nigga, mm. you call me. Man, hey, man. hey, hey, T, come on. <laughs> Bring your camera, come on. Yes, I'm like, sir. what? 
here? I'm, yeah. Man, you, I, I met cocaine. No, who did I meet with you? Oh, met J.O. Felony with you. Right. Uh, I met Exhibit with you. Right. You know, uh, yeah. there was a couple other people that was there that night. I met with you, man. Mm -hmm. I was like, damn, I've never met them before. You're like, man, these my peoples. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? He's like, yeah. now Shout he said, now they your people. Yeah. I was like, oh shit. Exactly. Yeah, I guess they are. You know yeah. what I mean? Please believe me. You know what I mean? And I just want to thank you for that, man. Absolutely. I want to thank you for what you do for the youth all the time because you don't have to. Man. You know what I mean? And and your wife is my sister. Right. You know what I so, mean? I've been knowing right. her forever. Went to school with her. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So like mm -hmm. I said, man, I've been knowing you for all my life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And just to see you grow and the way you're growing and then to turn your kids on to what you want mm -hmm. and now they making their way. Right. You know what I mean? You you allow us to shoot his video, his first video. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, you allow me to do a lot of other things with right. Thelma and all, all these right, other different right. artists, man. So I have to give you your flowers, man, Much because love. you you put me in positions that I want to be in, and you making it happen. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So I want to. Much love. Thank brother. you, brother. You know what Much you love. Do, Much love, man. First of all, because you know, I a lot of people don't do that. You know man. I mean? and extend love like that and that right, was the right. main reason why i wanted to put you on this platform yeah to show everybody what you do because yes, you help sir. out other people man. so i want to help you and we and look we're gonna we're gonna have thelma houston in here we're gonna get butch cashed in here we're gonna get jail felony in here we're, i'm gonna get them in here man because mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying their music has been in here so they need to come in here and you know let, let us know what they doing and what they got going on so y'all look out for those interviews they're gonna be coming soon and uh yeah, shout out to Exhibit too. That's a real good brother. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I got nothing but love for him. Man. I'm, I'm talking about good people. Yeah. That's good people. Yeah. Like, yeah, exhibit. Like, I'm let's go fishing again, exhibit. You know, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> like that. <laughs> let's do that. Oh, again. yeah, I like fishing too. <laughs> yeah, man. That's he right. like to go fishing. He come down to the city and yeah, we go out and get it in. So that's right. me, him, and Butch, we we went out there and man. I so. know, I know, I already know, man. I already yeah, know. Yeah. Well, Want to thank you for attending the show, What's man. Right? You know what I'm saying? And that's about it. That's all we have, man. But we're going to end this out with, uh, man, do you mind us running your son's, your son's video? Or you want to uh, hold you want to hold that? No, no, no. Because he got another video coming out right now. So I don't want to like. Okay, yeah. okay. No, we gonna, He's we gonna, yeah, Anthony yeah. going to find something to roll, man. No, we, this would. Yeah, you know, you can roll. Uh, you can roll even though this is not the original. It's still good to roll, you know, if you want to. You can roll the Do For Love because, you know, that's the song I recorded for Tupac. Don't forget it. I recorded Tupac, Sucker For Love. All right, well, I guess we're going to roll Sucker For Love. Yeah. We out. But if Dude. you need something original, go ahead and roll Oh yeah, What man. A Friend by Butch Cassidy or Happy Sea Day by Daz Dillinger. Roll those. No. By tell, tell them where they can find you. Oh, yeah. they You can find me at Funky Drummer on Instagram. That's F-U-N-C-K-Y Drummer on Instagram, a.k.a. Lethal. You can see it. Once you put that F-U-N-C-K, you're going to see me. I'm the only one. That's right. So, the only uh, funky. Yeah. So follow me there, or you can follow me also at My Life Music Group on Instagram. My Life Music Group on Instagram. Uh, please, of course, follow DZN on Instagram, Thelma Houston on Instagram, all the family, VIP on Instagram. All right, y'all. That's right. All you right. heard it. You heard it, man. We out of here. Peace. Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got my boy coming in, popped in the plate, man. What, what, what you do? Man? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, man, I was going to holler at my boy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Right. He doing this. He doing this after Man, every credit I know, stuff. I know. <laughs> I just hope. Uh, yeah, that it was, it was clean. Yeah. No, it was good. That yeah. was a good interview. Yeah. That was a good interview. I was natural and shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And you were saying things. I was like, oh wait a minute, let me mention that. Yeah, oh, wait yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you. I'm like, damn. Is he gonna mention his sons? Man, no. You did it purposely because yeah, they, yeah. It was it was better for you but to it ask. Was, it was the perfect question. for you to start mentioning. Yeah. You know, uh, 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 the people you teach. Because I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get to a son. Mm -hmm. Teach your kids. Perfect. But I was like, but how am I gonna answer that? Ask that. <laughs> you did it perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like you, like on the on on this, 
like depending on how like you could chop this up on different clips if you want to like what they do on um, like drink champs or yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. and it's really how 